Hey everybody, welcome to our medicinal plant series. In this journey, we'll be diving deep into the world of medicinal plants, nature's own pharmacy. Medicinal plants have been used for thousands of years across cultures for their healing properties, providing natural remedies for various elements. These plants offer an alternative or complementary approach to conventional medicine, harnessing the power of nature to support health and wellness. From soothing teas to powerful extracts, these plants play a vital role in holistic health practices today. Today, we're starting with a plant that has been cherished in traditional medicine for its remarkable immune-boosting properties, elderberry. This small, dark berry has a long history of use, especially during the cold and flu season. Whether in the form of syrups, teas, or supplements, elderberry is renowned for its ability to support respiratory health and enhance the immune system. So let's start with some fascinating facts about elderberry. This plant has a rich history in traditional medicine, dating back to ancient civilizations. The ancient Egyptians used elderberries to improve their complexions and heal burns, while Native Americans used them to treat infections. Elderberry grows on the elder tree, which is found in Europe, North America, and parts of Asia. The berries are small, dark purple, and packed with nutrients, but the flowers of the elder tree are also used in herbal remedies. Just a heads up, raw elderberries are toxic and need to be cooked before consumption to remove harmful compounds. Elderberry is celebrated for its immune boosting properties, making it especially popular during cold and flu season. The berries are rich in vitamins A and C, both of which are essential for healthy immune systems. Elderberry is also packed with powerful antioxidants, particularly flavonoids like anthocyanins, which help protect your cells from damage caused by free radicals. These antioxidants not only support immune health, but also have anti-inflammatory and antiviral properties, making elderberry a versatile remedy for various elements. Now, let's dive into the science behind elderberry. The key compounds in elderberry are anthocyanins, which are potent antioxidants that give the berries their deep purple color. These anthocyanins have been shown to support immune function by increasing the production of cytokines, which are proteins that help regulate the immune response. Elderberry also contains antiviral compounds that can inhibit the replication of viruses, particularly those responsible for the flu. Some studies suggest that elderberry can reduce the duration and the severity of flu symptoms when taken at the onset of illness. Elderberry offers a range of health benefits, especially for your immune system. Research has shown that taking elderberry extract at the first sign of a cold or flu can shorten the duration of symptoms by up to four days. Elderberry is also beneficial for respiratory health, helping to ease congestion and soothe a sore throat. Additionally, the antioxidants in elderberry support health by reducing oxidative stress, which can help lower the risk of heart disease. Incorporating elderberry into your daily routine is easy and can be delicious. Elderberry is available in various forms, including syrups, gummies, teas, capsules, and tinctures. One of the most popular ways to take elderberry is in a syrup form, which can be taken daily as a preventive measure or at the onset of symptoms to help fight off a flu or cold. If you're using elderberry syrup, the typical dosage is about one to two teaspoons per day for adults and one teaspoon per day for children. Elderberry tea is another great option. Just steep a teaspoon of dry berries in hot water for 10 to 15 minutes then strain and enjoy. There are plenty of ways to enjoy the benefits of elderberry in your diet. You can add a spoonful of elderberry syrup to your morning smoothie or mix it into your yogurt for a tasty immune boost. Elderberry tea is soothing and warming, especially in the colder months. If you're in a DIY, you can even make your own elderberry syrup at home by simmering dried elderberries with water, honey, and spices like cinnamon and ginger. Just remember, always cook the berries thoroughly to remove any toxins. While elderberry is generally safe for most people, there are a few precautions to keep in mind. Raw elderberries, along with the seeds, leaves, and the bark of the elder tree contain cyanogenic glycosides, which can release cyanide and are toxic if consumed in large quantities. Always cook elderberries before use to neutralize these compounds. If you're pregnant, breastfeeding, or have autoimmune condition, it's best to consult your healthcare provider before using elderberry. Also be cautious that with elderberry supplements, if you're on medications, as they can interact with certain drugs. When purchasing elderberry products, quality is crucial. Look for organic non-GMO elderberry supplements and syrups that are free from additives and artificial ingredients. If you're buying dried elderberries, make sure they're from a, a reputable source and are specifically labeled for consumption. 
For syrups and gummies, check that they contain a high percentage of elderberry extract and minimum added sugars. Always buy from reputable brands that provide transparency about their sourcing and manufacturing processes. Elderberry is a powerful natural remedy with a wide range of health benefits from boosting the immune system to supporting heart health. Whether you're taking it as a syrup, sipping it in tea, or adding it to f- your favorite recipes, elderberry could be a great addition to your wellness routine, especially during cold and flu season. Thanks for joining us for this first episode of our medicinal plant series. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the plants that keep us healthy and strong.